Good evening, traders. We are back for another weekly movers overview. Looking at the week ahead, checking out some of the news reports that we got going on for the following week, uh, August 10th through the 15th. It's not too much going on, to be honest. Uh, a lot of the major action is going to be coming in on a Wednesday, as you can see here. We got. Got the unemployment rate coming out on a, a pound, which uh, should move the market. We got a lot of a lot of news coming out at the same time, 4:30 a.m. on Wednesday, so we should see a spike in the, in the, in the market on that time. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at the euro pound to the short side. Uh, I'm definitely uh, expecting uh, some strength on the pound. Uh, we've been seeing a pullback on it, but um, I'm expecting for it to pick up eventually uh, within the next couple weeks or so. Uh, with some positive news, but we're going to see, we're going to see, you got to just sit tight and uh, see exactly what come out of these reports. Uh, moving on uh, to later on Wednesday, we got retail sales coming out on a dollar, which surely should move the market. This is actually uh, one of the better reports that I'm looking at uh, this, this week moving forward. Uh, I'm looking for some continued short action on the euro dollar to the downside which should be interesting uh, following some bigger moves from uh, the previous week. So definitely moving forward. Uh, Wednesday looks like the day. Uh, Tuesday, you probably want to look for some entries, look for some uh, tests and some resistance levels. Uh, but Wednesday, we definitely should see the volatility pick up. Uh, continuing on. Also, later on on Wednesday, we got uh, some uh, retail sales numbers coming out on the New Zealand. Now, as you know, the New Zealand uh, recently uh, increased interest rates uh, not too long ago, so the overall sentiment on the New Zealand dollar is uh, strong. So I'm um, looking to pair this up with a weak pair. As you know, the euro, uh, which is in a, currently in a recession, uh, you know, they, they may be a, a borderline, you know, uh, going through a, what you call this, going through some issues with Russia, their neighbor. So um, this, it's not really a good look on the euro. So uh, on Wednesday, definitely want to look for some uh, short positions on the euro New Zealand around uh, 6.45 p.m. Moving on as we continue uh, later in the week, Thursday, it's a pretty light day, not too much going on. Uh, some numbers on the euro, but uh, as we know, uh, we got a weak expectation on the euro. So we're going to see the final CPI numbers, which should be low, but, uh, we, 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 you know, you just got to sit tight and uh, see exactly what these, uh, what these guys say. But I'm definitely expecting uh, some continued uh, low numbers coming out of uh, the euro area. Moving on to Friday, we got GDP coming out on a, a pound, which I'm expecting to be strong. The forecast is, uh, is uh, pretty uh, flat, but, you know, been seeing some great numbers coming out of the pound so definitely expecting to uh, see some some movement so as I mentioned Wednesday is really the day the market should really start to pick up and, and push um, expecting uh, some some uh, ranging movement on Tuesday and uh, possible ranging movement on, uh, on Monday as well but Wednesday definitely we should see some volatility back into the market uh, looking to hit our targets and um, we should uh, just continue to cruise on through till Friday Friday, we should see another extended push uh, with some volatility, and uh, that'll be the end of the week. So it's a pretty simple week uh, going into next week. But definitely want to keep your eyes open on the Euro New Zealand, the Euro Pound, and the Euro Dollar. All to the short side, in my opinion, will be uh, great trades as they test uh, some of the prior resistance levels. Um, I made a change in my trades as well that I like to trade, that I like to, uh, excuse me. That I'd like to share with you guys. Um, I've been noticing I only want to look at the four hour uh, charts moving forward. Uh, it's, they uh, provide some great resistance levels, which I typically trade from anyway, but I usually like to look at the 15 minute for clarity. But uh, moving forward, I'm just going to be uh, trading off the four hour. I just really like the candle patterns, high probability trading patient trading as well you know I don't really got to be going crazy seeing if I missed a move or 
what have you. So that's the kind of treating I really want to do for my life, you know, where I can still live and not be stuck to the charts. And I'm thinking that's the same thing you guys want. So with that being said, I'm open to suggestions, open to comments, open to questions. If you got any, please feel free to uh, shoot it over to me on YouTube or on uh, you can see the information below for email information or what have you. Check us out on Facebook as well. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you found this information useful. would like to wish everyone a happy trading week as we go into the second week of uh, August. And uh, just continue to uh, grow exponentially. Until next time, happy trading.